Welcome to the channel guys, it's Hype Frag and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a season 2 content overview and all of the content used in this video is from the Call of Duty official blog page. So I'm going to be giving you guys a quick summary of every single topic and point that has been mentioned in this blog. So the first topic we're going to talk about is the four new operators that are coming in season 2. Now they are Nagar which can be found in the Warsaw pack on launch week. There is Maxis which is already an operator that's in season there is Wolf NATO, another operator in season. So some of these are from zombies coming into multiplayer. Last one is Rivaz, NATO, and that is another in season operator. Now, three of the operators you will actually have to purchase separately when the season does launch. But the operator that I'm assuming comes with the battle pass is going to be Naga, and this is a new operator. Moving forward, I've got an exciting topic. There's going to be six new weapons in the game. So there are two official new weapons coming into the game. And then the other four are weapons that we've already seen in the game, but they're just going to be variants. So the first weapon that we've got, and this is actually a new assault rifle coming into the game, is the Farrah 83. And we've got the LC-10, which is going to be a new SMG coming into the game on launch week. And we have the Machete Special. This is a weapon that's already in season. We've got the E-Tool, which is another melee weapon, which is in season. We've got an R1 Shadow Hunter Special. This is a crossbow. And this is also in season. We have a ZRG 20mm sniper and this is also in season. So other than the assault rifle and the SMG that I mentioned at the start, the rest of these weapons can be obtained by doing challenges or purchasing a blueprint in the store. So there's another zombies map coming to Call of Duty. This is going to be a new zombies experience outbreak and this is going to be coming on launch week. Now there is a trailer for this outbreak map which I will link in the description below that you guys can go and watch. So the Outbreak map is just really continuing the Dark Aether story. If you guys follow that, I don't really follow it, so I don't have nothing to say on it. But moving on. So we have a new field upgrade for zombies. And reading this here, it says, Upon activation, all enemies will immediately target the frenzied guard user for a brief period, during which time only armor will take damage. This can be a game changer when fellow operators are surrounded by the undead masses as they will turn their attention away from those in peril and towards the arms of it, Savior. So basically what this means is I think you can set all the zombies onto someone else. I don't know if that's going to be a NPC or a, one of your teammates. So while we're on the same topic of zombies, there's another ammo mod coming and this is called Shatterblast. This says here that each bullet also has a chance to deal explosive damage and explode additional explosive damage and destroying any impacted armor intended to help destroy heavy zombies. And to finish up on zombies there are going to be two new skill tiers that will be added. Moving on to multiplayer there's going to be four new maps that come out. One of them is called Apocalypse which is a 6v6 this is coming on launch week. There's Gova a multi-team. There's Mansion, a 2v2 or a 3v3 map. There's Miami Strike, a 6v6. And that is all the maps that are coming. Alongside these maps, there's going to be new multiplayer modes. They're going to be adding Gun Game, Stockpile, which is a 6v6, and Hardpoint Multi Team. So Stockpile mixes Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint together for a fast paced slow heavy objective game mode. In Stockpile operators must eliminate enemies and collect their dog tags but unlike Kill Confirmed these dog tags won't count towards their team score until they are stockpiled at a deposit site that rotate around the map throughout the match. So this is basically like Grind from Modern Warfare but they're bringing this new mode to multiplayer as well as the other modes that we've already seen in previous CODs so I'm not going to talk about them. There's going to be a new score streak as well and this is Death Machine and they'll be also launching a new vehicle which is going to be a sedan and they're also launching a light truck. Now with any new season they're going to obviously come with new challenges and they're also adding new prestige levels. It says here season 2 prestige goes to 11. Just like the start of season 1 your season level will reset to 1 at the beginning of season 2 and your progress will resume from your highest prestige level you achieved previously. 
The season offers four additional prestiges to achieve across the first 200 levels as well as a new weapon blueprint as follows. Level 50, new prestige, emblem, prestige key, weapon blueprint and battle pass tier skip. Level 100, new prestige, emblem, prestige key and battle pass tier skip. Level 150, new prestige, emblem, prestige key and battle pass tier skip. Level 190, all season challenges available. Level 200, new prestige, emblem, prestige key. Battle Pass Tier Skip, Master Prestige Calling Cards and finally level 250 to 1000, new prestige key every 50 levels. Now here it says there's going to be more content coming to Warzone and there's going to be new points of interest so I'm assuming they're going to add new little bits into the map. Here it says Last sighted off the coast of Rebirth Island, recent intel suggests that the cargo tanker Vodianeri has gone missing at sea, however recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading towards the port of Odansk. So I'm assuming they're going to be adding a boat where you can play and kill other players on. And they also have said that there's going to be other changes but they haven't said too much and I'm waiting for the update which should come out tomorrow detailing more of the season 2 content. They're adding a new game mode which is Exfiltration. It's about time that Exfiltropor arrives before the circle fully closes in. During an Exfiltration battle royale, a portable radio crackles into life, coming online somewhere in Verdansk. The operator who secures this radio and holds onto it for a sufficient period of time automatically wins the game for them or their squads in non-solo modes. Now they have a new game mode which is Rebirth Island Resurgence Extreme. The high octane respawn enabled resurgence mode on Rebirth Island will be taken to the extreme during season 2, up in the max player count in the limited time Rebirth Island resurgent extreme mode. Up to 90 players can drop into Rebirth Island for an incredibly frantic fight for supremacy. So basically they're just going to be increasing the player limit on Rebirth Island. So that is a brief overview of all the content that is going to be coming. I'm going to release another video tomorrow as the blog says at the bottom that they're going to update it on the 23rd with more detailed information. And I'll upload a video and keep you guys in touch with any new details that come about. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And it's been Harfrag.